Hi everyone, Ravi this side. Welcome to Engineering Adda. So today in this video, we are going to discuss about one of the cool features or you can say important features of IntelliJ, which is run configuration. Okay, so what is the purpose of run configuration? Why we are using run configuration and how we can use the run configuration? Everything we are going to discuss in this video. So first of all, uh, what is run configuration? It is one of the features of IntelliJ. Okay, so what the purpose of run configuration? So run configurations helps us in our development process. It facilitates our development process. It loosely coupled our development process. So there are couple of options that are available under the run configuration that help us in our development process. So we'll discuss each features one by one and then we'll try to show you how you can use that features under the run configuration. Okay, so let me try to uh, go to the IntelliJ first and then try to show you where the run configuration is. So I already have opened the IntelliJ here. Uh, you can see I have opened one of my project and on the top you can see these options where it has selected our Spring Boot project. And when I uh, put the cursor on it, you can see this option is coming, which is run slash debug configuration. Okay, so if you click on the down button, you can see these options. You have to go to the edit configuration and this will open up the run or debug configuration tab for you. Under this tab, you can find a lot of uh, things like this is the name where uh, it is showing us the application name. And this is the next uh, option is to select on which machine you want to run your application on. So it has default uh, selected our local machines to run our application on. If you click on the down button, you can see there are a couple of more options available on which you can run your application like Docker, Docker Compose, SSH, WSL. So this is one of the features of run or debug configuration. You can select where you want to run your application okay now if you'll come down uh, you can see it has selected like we are using java 18 so this is where you can select which version of the java you want to use and this is the application name and you can see this active profiles so this is one of the cool features of run configuration so where we can use the active profile okay so first of all, let me try to tell you one scenario. Okay, let me try to close it. So let's say uh, you started the development of your application. You are developing a Spring Boot project and you started the development. So let's say uh, I have developed this Spring Boot application. And if you'll go to the application properties file, here we have provided couple of uh, details, like which database we are using, what is the username and the password for that database? And what, what is the port number on which our application will be up and running? So let's say this application is developed and in the application properties file, as of now, we have provided the details related to the dev environments. Okay. So this application is working on the dev environment. So this URL uh, of the database is the dev URL like this database this database is of uh, the dev environment database the username is of the dev environment username and the password is from the dev environment so let's say this application is now running on the dev environment and later on in the future uh, you want to move this piece of code or your application to the higher environments like you want to move it to the QA or test environment, you want to move it to the UAT environment, you want to move it to the production environment. Okay, so what you're going to do next? So in order to move this application to the others environment or the higher environment, you can write the others application properties files for the corresponding environments. So let's say this is, uh, this is the application properties file, right? But let's say you want to move this application to the test environment. Then you have to write a, or create an application properties file for the test environment as well. Similarly for the UAT, similarly for the 
reduction and using a uh, option of spring for profiles you can select which environment you want to run locally so let's say you want to uh, run this application and you have three uh, application properties files one is for the dev second is for the test and third is for the production and you want to select the dev first so in the application properties file there is a configuration called spring profiles in the spring profiles you can provide the dev and then it will select the application properties file of the dev and all the configuration inside the application properties file of dev will be picked up okay so that is the purpose of spring profile when you will go to the edit configuration and we were discussing about the active profiles so here this active profiles also serve the same purpose what spring profiles does so without doing the configuration in the application properties file to select the particular environment you can directly come to the edit configuration and if you can go to the active profiles and you can select that particular environment on which you want to run your application okay so this is the purpose of active profiles if you don't understand anything just uh, be there there is a uh, application or there's a video on my channel that i already have covered how to develop or how to manage the multiple profiles in a spring boot application and from there after i will try to create one application and then i will try to show you uh, how to use the active profiles okay so first of all let me try to uh, show you the use of active profiles and how we can use it and then later on i will try to uh, discuss couple of more options that are inside the run or debug configuration okay so let me try to close it and uh, let me try to go to the my channel so here you can see uh, we are on my channel and if you'll search for the spring profiles uh, let's say then there is a video on my channel you can see this if you'll click on it let me try to stop it so this video says that uh, how to use multiple environments in spring boot uh, you can see this is spring boot profiles so everything is discussed here so let me try to go to the description of this video and here you i will find this link where i have pushed the application so let me try to go there i will try to clone it and then i will try to run this application locally and then try to show you uh, how to use uh, the application properties files multiple uh, application properties file to handle the multiple environment in a spring boot application so let me try to clone this first so we'll go to the project go to the september let me try to clone it so i will uh, show you how to use the spring profiles and then we will move to the active profile tab inside the run configuration and then i will show you how you can use that to achieve this whole purpose so we have cloned this application and uh, so let me try to brief about the video or the application that i'm going to open now so this application tells us how to use the multiple environment in spring boot application like dev qa or production if you don't know how to use it you can watch this video okay i will provide the link of this video in the description you can go and watch it out and you can see this uh, github url is also there in the video so you can directly come here and then clone it so let me try to open that project in this intellij so go to the file and go to the new sorry go to the open let me try to go inside the september folder and then there i will find it right so yeah it is there open this and open in a new tab so let's try to show you what this application is doing okay so just wait for a few seconds let's start scanning the indexes and dissolving the dependency that is there so i think it is okay let me try to open this go to the main and java and uh, let me try to go inside the controller 
so we have created this controller and one is inserting second is to get the user list of user so one api is to insert the user second is to get the list of users from the db go to the entity entity is user which is having id name and the address and if we'll go to the repository uh, yeah we are using the jpa so let, let me try to go to the application properties file first so here you can see in the source uh, i have created this three application properties file apart from the main application dot properties file so these three application properties files like dev production or the test they are containing the details related to the dev environment production environment and the test environment and in the main application properties file we will try to pick the particular application properties file or the particular environment on which you want to run your application so you can see here uh, using the spring profiles we are uh, selecting which environment i want to run my application on so let's let me try to go one by one in the application properties file and then try to show you so if you'll go to the dev you can see uh, in the dev we have the url and in the url you can see we are using the dev db as a database we have the same username and the password and this uh, when we are using the dev environment then the application will be up on the port number 8081 now if you'll go to the production you can see the database is uh, prod db and the application will be up on the port number 8082 when you are choosing the production now if you'll go to the test uh, the db is test db and the port number on which your application will be up is 8083 when you are choosing the test environment how to choose the environment so if you'll go to the main application properties file you will find this configuration which is spring.profile.active is equal to test so we are using uh, by providing the name we are using the environment so let me try to run this application first and then try to show you if it is picking the test environment or not so if you if if it will pick the test environment then that means our application will be up on the port number 8083 enable it and uh, let me try to go down you can see our tomcat server started on the port number 8083 that means our application is up on the port number 8083 and where we have defined the port as the 8083 it is inside the test environment okay similarly uh, if we'll go to the application properties file and let's say here we have provided the dev and let me try to run this application again so uh, if it is picking up the dev then if we'll go inside the dev pro properties file you can see our application should be up on the port number 8081 now our application is up and here you can see it is up on the port number 8081 so this is the case of multiple environment or the multiple profiles how to use it in the spring boot application now uh, if we'll go to the main application properties file you can find this configuration right but you can avoid writing this configuration in the application properties file directly you can go to the run configuration and in the active profiles you can provide that particular environment which you want to pick so let's say you want to pick the production environment so here you can provide the prod and you have to apply and you have to select all now here let me try to comment out uh, this configuration so let me try to do that yeah we have commented it out now in the in the active profile we have selected the prod so it should be picking up the prod right and if you'll go to the prod application properties file then our application will be up on the port number 8082 if it if it it has picked the prod okay so now let me try to run this application and then try to see if the active profile is working fine or not so you can see uh, this time it is picking up the prod environment and we have defined this prod environment inside the active profiles in the run configuration you can see this right so you can see we can avoid writing the code inside the application properties file 
to pick the particular environment directly we can go to the run or edit configuration and we can pick it from the active profiles here so this will avoid the tight coupling right this will loosely couple our application we can directly come here and we can provide those things in the active profiles itself we are not required to write the code for it we are not required to write the hard coded configuration for it right similarly uh, this is about the active profiles in the run configuration now let me try to explain you the difference uh, or the other features of the run configuration you can find this option of modify option right it will select it there are a lot of options that you can see uh, in the spring boot you can see active profiles is one of the option you can see enable debug output you can see hide banner you can see disable jmx in points you can see others option as well right if you'll go to the operating system you can see allow multiple instance how many instance of your application you want to run you can select that uh, you can see this working environment working directory and you can see this environment variable so let me try to uh, show you the environment variables how it is working so if you'll select the environment variables you can see this tab is coming here and in the environment variables you can provide the value of the configuration that you are putting in the application dot properties file so let me try to close it first and then try to show you so if you'll go to the uh, let's say uh, what we have picked we have picked the prod right so if you go to the edit configuration in the active profiles you can see we have picked the prod click ok and let me try to go to the prod properties file and here you can see we have lot of configuration in the application properties file right let's say you want to provide this uh, username and the password from the environment variables not from the application properties file you don't want to hard code it in the application properties file so there is a way you can provide it through the environment variables okay so you can see this in the edit configuration you have to go to the modify option you have to select this environment variables and then there you can provide the values for this configuration that you have did in the application properties file now let me try to do it for one or two uh, configuration and then i will try to tell you how you can use it so here you can see we are using the username and the password now this username and password is hard coded here but we can uh, we don't need to hard code it we can directly pass it through the environment variables in the edit configuration so let me try to do it so you have to write something here let me try to do let's say your username name is username like you have to write one variable here and let's say okay let me try to do it back first let me try to comment it out first okay why it is not commenting okay let me try to comment it one by one first so we have commented out the username and password now let me try to show you how you can uh, write the code for the configuration of username and password without hard coding it here and you can pass it from the environment variables in the edit configuration so so you have to remember this username and password the username is root and the password is this let me try to remove it from here so how you can uh, write the variable for it you have to provide the dollar and then open and close braces and then you have to provide the variable name for the username so let's say the variable name is user name something like that okay and uh, the variable name for the password is dollar open and close braces and then password let's say it is so these are the things that we have configured here in the application properties file we are not providing the value directly we are not hard coding the value here in the application properties file we can uh, we are just uh, writing out one in uh, one variable and then we can pass the value to these variables through the environment variables in the edit configuration so let me try to go there to the edit configuration and select the environment variable 
and let's say uh, the variable was username and you have to provide the username so let's say username as root right and then you have to separate it with the comma so you can see here in the downside it is showing separate variable with semicolon sorry it is a semicolon and how you can provide the values like variable equal to value variable one equal to value one so as of now we are just passing two variables which is username and the password so the variable for the username is username and then we have to provide the like we have to pass the value for that and for the password it is password and then we have to pass the value for that the password was ravi at the rate one 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 nine nine eight now let me try to apply it and then okay so what we did we have hard coded uh, whatever we have hard coded here we have commented it out and we have created this new way of uh, passing the username and password and we are passing the username and password from the environment variables we are not hard coding it we have created one variables here for the particular username and password and through that variables we are passing the value here in the environment variable okay now if you'll run this application if it is working fine then it won't give any error right or we'll try to access couple of apis that we have created and then see so you can see our application is up on the port number 8080 now if you'll go to the controller and let's say we want to hit this uh, get api okay and then see what is there so if it is working fine that means our uh, like our application is able to interact with the database right and how it will be able to interact with the database through this application properties files and it will be able to interact with the database only if you have provided the correct username and the password and we are passing the username and password through the environment variables here so if the apis are working fine that means we have correctly passed the things here okay so our application is up and if you'll go to the user controller uh, the class level mapping is api and then if you want to hit this get then you have to provide the get if you'll go to the postman our application is up on the port number 8082 8082 slash api slash get hit it and here you can see nothing is there but yeah we are not getting any error that means it is able to interact with the database now let me try to insert couple of things there and then show you so the api for the insert is api slash insert and then you have to provide the user details so if you go to the user entity we have the id name and the address so let me try to go to the postman and let me try to use a post api it will be api slash insert and if you go to the body you have to provide the user payload or user detail select the raw json and here you have to provide that detail so let me try to again check it is id name and the address so id let's say id is one and name name let's say username is uh, rahul and uh, let's say address let's say address is delhi let me try to check yeah let me try to put id in the double quotes id name and address and the value of address in the double quotes and then hit it and then see you can see this 200 okay that means one record one user is inserted in the db now let me try to uh, find that user inserted user so you can see get to get all the users from the db so as of now we have only one and we are able to get it from the db as well that means our apis are also working fine that means this uh, we are passing the username and password through the environment variables is working fine so these are the two features of run or uh, run or debug configuration which is active profiles which help us in loosely uh, loosely coupling the development process and in the environment variables is also loosely coupling the development process it is avoid it help us in avoiding the hard coding of the values in the application properties file 
now if you'll go there uh, to the modify option you will find lot of option here you can see in the java uh, if you want to se select this do not build before run you can select it similarly you can select multiple options here to ease your development process so this is about the video guys if you like the video please hit the like button and please subscribe the channel for more such content and let me know if you need anything thanks